Hey everybody. All right, today uh, we're doing something a little bit different. Rory, up you come. Good girl. This is for um, uh, someone special to the 12 points team who has recently lost one of their animal friends and is struggling with that at the moment, like a lot of us do. So I thought I would read this story just for her, but also for anyone who, who has suffered the loss of one of their, of one of their best friends, um, to help them, to help them cope with this time and to help them remember the connection that, that they made and that connections don't, don't disappear just because that person, that animal, that thing that you've loved, just because it's gone, physically gone, doesn't mean the connection is gone. And I think that's really important for us to remember now, but, well, especially now, but, but always. So this is the book that, um, that I really love. There's, there's quite a few and I can, I can post some more examples in the comments if people are interested. Um, but this one's called The Invisible Leash. And I'm going to read it out now for, um, for that girl and for anybody else who has ever, has ever missed one of their good friends. So, The Invisible Leash. Alright, and hopefully, because I can't see myself recording it this way, I wanted you to be able to see the little book and the words. So hopefully this is in frame, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> All right. Ready to go, Zach? Emily asked her friend. It was Friday and the rest of the kids were already racing home from school, excited for the weekend. Zach shook his head. He just wanted to be alone. Okay, but let's hang out at the treehouse later, Emily said, leaving him at his desk. The only thoughts in Zack's mind were of Jojo, as he slung his heavy backpack over his shoulder and slowly headed home. This weekend, Jojo wouldn't be there. Jojo had been Zack's best friend in the whole world. They played frisbee on the weekend. Together, they hiked the hills and the trails near Zack's house. And when the moon was full, they howled together as it smiled down upon them. They were really good friends. Mum and Dad tried to cheer Zack up with his favourite rainbow cupcakes, but Jojo wasn't there to steal the very last bite. Cupcakes aren't the same without Jojo, Zack said as he pushed his plate away. We'll adopt another dog as soon as you're ready, buddy, Dad reassured him. But Zack wasn't interested. No other dog, Dad. Never. I just want Jojo back. Zack stomped off and when his bedroom door slammed, it shook the whole house with sadness. Before dinner, Emily came by to see if Zack could play. Hey, what's wrong, Zack? Why didn't you meet me at the treehouse? Come over. Emily tugged playfully at Zack's arm and they began to wind their way through the neighbourhood, but Zack dragged his feet. Jojo died this week. He got old and sick. Now I'll never see him again. Not ever. And he started to cry. Emily understood. It's okay, Zach. I cried so hard when Rexy died too. But then I heard the news. Zach was curious. What news? Emily had a sparkle in her eyes. Oh, just the very best news ever. Rexy and I will always be connected, Emily continued, just like you and Jojo. Huh? Zack blinked. That makes no sense. How can you be connected to something that's gone? Emily held out her hands. Because they're not all the way gone. See? Zack squinted and stared, but he only saw the air. Are you playing a trick on me? Because I can't see anything. I know, but the invisible leash is the realest thing in the whole wide world, Zack. When our pets aren't here anymore, an invisible leash connects our hearts to each other forever. Mm. 
Zack folded his arms across his chest. I only believe in things I can see. A sudden gust of warm breeze blew right through Emily's hair and she laughed. But Zack, don't you believe in the wind? Even if you can't see the invisible leash, you can feel it. That's what we found out the night that Rexy died. Zack was getting annoyed. There is no such thing as an invisible leash. Grandpa said his grandpa told him about the leash when he was a little boy and his dog Louie died. He said it stretches to his, this place beyond where our eyes can see, all the way to where our pets have gone. Yeah, right. That's totally impossible. Zack laughed, even though nothing felt funny. None of this seemed like it could be real, but oh, how he wished it could be. How could Rexy have an, invis an invisible leash? She's a cat. He never walked her on a leash. Not when she was alive, but she has an invisible leash now, just like my sister's bird, Cuckoo, and my brother's hamster, Fred. Well, Jojo didn't really like his leash. He loved running free. Zack figured he'd stumped Emily for sure this time, but she still had an answer. It's not a leash that ties our bodies. It's a leash that connects our hearts. When you love an animal and they love you back, that gives the invisible leash the magic power of infinity to stretch from here all the way to the beyond. Zack wanted to know more. Where exactly is the beyond? Do you mean like another planet out in space? There and everywhere, answered Emily. Grandpa says the beyond can even be around all of us. He said that we'd spend the rest of our lives learning that we feel the most important and truest things in the world in our hearts and don't need to see them with our eyes. That's what it means to believe. I wish I could believe Emily. I wish that so much. Zack began to wonder as they watched the moon rising over the valley. He remembered how much he and Jojo loved the full moon. When Jojo misses me, would I feel him tug the invisible leash, just like when I used to walk him? Yep, said Emily, and it works both ways. When I miss Rexy, I tug on the invisible leash, and sometimes I can even hear her purr. For real? asked Zack, looking his friend in the eye. For very real, answered Emily. And when she added, cross my heart, Zack knew how much she meant it. Warm winds swirled around the two friends gazing at the evening sky. Frogs croaked and crickets started chirping as the stars began to gather. Soon, a smile widened across Zack's face. Emily, what if Jojo and Rexy have been looking at the very same moon we're looking at? So they're with us right now. Oh, Zack, she jumped up. I never thought of that before. The very same moon. Now I feel Rexy tugging her invisible leash this exact second. I love in this book as well, you can see the, the animals joining them and helping the kids figure it out. Zack had one last question. Uh, what does an invisible tug feel like? Like love, said Emily. Zack's heart started to feel all kinds of warmth. Well, I think maybe I can feel Jojo tugging at my heart from beyond. Right now? asked Emily. Very right now, answered Zack. They sat there for a long time with no words. Then, when it was time for dinner, they hugged goodbye and the moon lit up Zack's pathway home. Later that night, Zack looked, looked out again at the moon, now glowing full and bright in his window. He was almost positive that he could hear the sound of Jojo beginning to howl, just like he used to. And so he joined in. Ahoo! When they were done, Zack saw Jojo's sparkling brown eyes looking deeply into his. This did not feel like any dream. This felt real. And for the first time since Jojo died, Zack fell asleep happy. Somewhere even higher than the moon, in a place called the beyond, Jojo and Rexy watched their people, Zack and Emily, as they slept. Jojo ran in circles and barked with joy. We love our people so much. Rexy rolled on the grass, purring. When our people are happy, we feel happy too. The other animals were celebrating alongside them. One day, the children of the world would know the truth about the invisible leashes, which let their animals run free, but connect to their hearts forever. One day, those children would teach others 
how to believe in the things that they could feel yet not quite see. It was the still of the night. Zach, Emily and the rest of the world's children were now fast asleep in their cosy comfy beds and as the moon smiled down upon them from high above it lit up the millions and billions of invisible leashes connecting them all. The Invisible Leash, Leash by Patrice Cast. Um, Patrice Cast, sorry. I hope that you enjoyed that and I hope that you can spend a little bit of time today maybe stopping and noticing and feeling those tugs on your heart from the Invisible Leash that's connecting you to those people and those animals that, that you're maybe missing today. All right. Take care, everybody, and all those animals that are still around, give them an extra special cuddle today, too. Bye.